Hello everyone. Thank you for joining on my、uh, weekly Ichimoku Forex forecast. So today is the、uh, 14th of June、uh, 2020 on Sunday. So, yeah, sorry, I was a little late、uh, in about a couple of minutes here because,、uh, you know, my Shiba Dog Vice was kind of,、uh, you know, jumping around and he was kind of、uh, a little bit hyper. So I had to calm him down. So eventually I decided to him to hold. <laughs> so it looks like for some reason he's kind of,、uh, you know, a little bit, a little bit hyper. But the,、uh, yeah, hope、uh, that you can say hi to them. Say hi. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So,、uh, yeah. So I'm just holding vice and I will just try to do the live today. All right. So, yeah. So, again, once again, thank you for joining everyone. So, today is this Sunday. So, every Sunday, as you can see this、uh, you know, picture here, I do the weekly Ichimoku Forex forecast and I talk about. The pairs that I look at usually, and also the commodities, right? And also the,、uh, <laughs> yeah, and also the、uh, stock market or、uh, indexes that,、uh, you know, that will be interesting,、uh, you know, every week. So that's the topic on every Sunday, basically, on this、uh, public live. All right. So, yeah, I will talk about. All these pairs today, and also the、uh, one of the,、uh, you know, the commodities that、uh, I think is important, and also the indexes that I, imp I, that I think is important today. So, if you like this topic already, please press the good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives every day. All right. So, sorry, I think、uh, he's, he's wanting to escape from my hands. So, hold on, let me just release him a little bit. Hold on. All right, there you go. So, sorry about that. So, all right,、uh, let me start talking about it. And. I am actually, you know, trying to prepare for that. So let me put up the chat right now. So, yeah, he was a little hyper. Sorry about that. Because、um, I just took him a walk today and we just got him home. So,、uh, usually, Right,、uh, Shiba dogs、uh, becomes a little bit, little bit hyper,、uh, you know, every time、uh, you know, they,、uh, they come back to home. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. So, <clears throat> all right, so I think、uh, he's playing around somewhere over there. All right, so let's get started right now. All right, so let's see who's here first. All right,、uh, Gabriel, thank you for joining. And Gwen and Evandro Maru, thank you for joining as well. All right, and Honda64,、uh, Nirpra, and Robert, ABM, Jarek, Lawrence, Skills, Greed, Enna, thank you for joining as always. And Steve, all right,、uh, Jonathan, Yung Zhang. Good to see you. Good to see you again. And Safras, Roy, Sai. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Yeah, waiting for a second Ichimoku Cafe. Right, right, right. So,、uh, we're going to do that in uh, this uh, Ichimoku membership life. Yeah, we're going to have、uh, Ichimoku Cafe on the second one. Sure, sure. All right. And Tommy, Brian, thank you for joining. a t u r u s i t a r a n Good to see you, Ichimoku Chorus Warriors. All right, good to see you. All right, and Sam, Richard Lim, and Skills,、uh, Daft, June,、uh, Torres, thank you for joining, and David,、uh, Jaye, 
Richard and King Sai. Good to see you. Good to see everyone. And Robert Pune and Roy James. Thank you for joining as always. Beautiful dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I was. Uh, yeah. I just. Uh, you know. I had to hold him because he was kind of uh, unstable. Right. <laughs> you know. He was kind of jumping around all, all over the place in my house. So. Yeah. I was just holding him. So that the, uh, you know, he can just say hi to everybody. <laughs> all right. Vice ASMR, nice. All right. Good to hear that. All right. Jarek, thank you for joining. All right. Mr. Fernandez and Ivan, City Forex, Francis, good to see you. And Guy, good to see you too. All right. Cash flow. Nexus, and yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Weekly review on a BTC USD. Yeah, I can do that actually. Yeah. So let me put that on the list. I can look at the uh, BTC USD today. All right. Okay. Um. Well, Alex, Kuang, Leon. Thank you for joining as always. 964. Thank you for your participation as always. All right. Alessandro, thank you for joining. All right. Ruben, Anthony, Shanti J, Mel Ads, and Dr. Sam. Good to see you. Good to see you. And Kurt, thank you for joining as always. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Right, and yeah, Kurt, you, you finally got it, right? You finally got my uh, YouTube live, so you got to hear that. All right, the Defender SD Russell, thank you for joining. All right, Emiliano, and uh, all right, Medicine, thank you for joining as well. All right, 964, thank you for your reminder as always. All right. Thank you for uh, your reminder. Your uh, your reminder to uh, press a good button. Good to see you. All right. All right. So uh, let me talk about some markets today. About the uh, in terms of the Ichimoku market. So every Sunday, I do the weekly forecast. So yeah, based on the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo today, I talk about. The currency markets that I usually look at on these pairs, and also some uh, commodities on gold and oil, US oil, and also some indexes today. All right, so let's get started right now. Okay, so today, um, let me start from this uh, Euro USD today, right? So we're talking about this uh, Euro USD today, and actually, you know, you feel in save time. The one that's uh, highlighted on red, which are USD CAD and AUD, AUD USD today, right? These are the pairs that are on the trend right now. So USD CAD downtrend in daily chart and AUD USD daily chart is uptrend, and that's what I found today. So uh, if you want to save time, right? Uh, these are you know the information. This is the information that you want to get. But if you want to know about the reasons behind, uh, you can stick with it. Uh, you can stick with my explanation today, so that the uh, you know you you can uh, you can identify you know exactly how I look at these charts and how I look at this uh, and how I confirm these trends. Okay, so in that sense, on this Euro USD daily chart is still flat because the Kumo. Right, it's still horizontal. Right, hold on. Let me get the uh, drawing tool. So yeah, um, as you can see here right now, the Kumo is flat right now, and also the uh, single span or single span uh, B is flat. Single span A is kind of going up right now, and also Kijun Sen is also going up right now. Right, so ever since the kumo has been twisted right here 
looks like this is bullish trend. But um, <clears throat> one thing that I wanted to mention is that the uh, you know, if you look at the market overall, right, this is in a range, right, because the kumo has been twisted up and down, right. This was the uh, down twist of the kumo, and the kumo twisted upwards also, and also kumo twisted downwards again, and then now the kumo twisting upwards again, right. So after the coronavirus situation, the price spiked when you know downwards right here, and now it has been consolidating, right? It has been uh, within the P wave, like this, the uh, you know trend, uh, squeezing trend right now. And after that, the price just went uh, you know upwards to this way, all the way upwards, and now it is retracing backwards. And uh, yeah, and also right. Uh, if you can look at the kumo right now, right, the kumo itself has been flat overall market. So I can see that there is no trend in the market. So I would not really depend on the uh, the kumo direction to uh, take trades uh, next week uh, based on the daily chart. So I might be looking at the smaller time frames to capture the trend and capture the trading edges tomorrow or uh, you know Monday and onwards. So let's take a look at the 4-hour chart. Alright, so in this 4-hour chart, right, the price is now retracing backwards and now the price is in the Kumo right now. So. You know how the price reacts when when it's inside of the kumo. Yeah, let me just ask you this uh, simple question first, right? To uh, to ensure that uh, you really know about the kumo or not. So when the price is in the kumo, right? What might be happening to the market? Is a question. Right, in the inside of the kumo is actually meaning that the uh, the price being within a single span A, right, and a single span B, right, the price is now right in between single span A and B, and now it's right within the kumo right now. So when the price is within the kumo, what might happen? Is a question. And this is, you know, regardless of uh, which time frame you look at, right? And I mean, um, whichever time frame you look at, whenever you see the kum, when whenever you see the price being the kumo, um, you know, uh, the price might be acting, as I say later. So, let's see. So price being the kumo, being into the kumo right now, means what is it right now, right? Is a question. All right. Thank you for joining everyone. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. So EURUSD is uptrend. Um, yeah. In terms of this uh, four-hour chart in price action, this is uptrend. But uh, I won't look for the buy chance right now. And I will tell you the reason why in a minute. Alright. Unstable in the Kumo, right? Still trend, still uptrend to me, alright? Alright. Ranging, do not take trade, right? Range, uptrend, alright? Turbulent, right? Thunderstorm, yeah, that's true. Random, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's true. Still in the range, not on trend, right? Exactly. Reversal or uh, continuation in the Kumo, we do not know exactly whether the price will be into the range or it might be reversal. We never know which way the price is gonna go. That's true. That's true. Consolidating. That's true. Yep. We don't know. Uh, can we up or down? Yep. That's true. That's true. Avoid this. Right. Instable, turbulent, right? 
plane uh, turbulence is shaking. That's true. Looks like uh, you've got the idea of uh, when the airplane is within the storm. Looks like, which is good. All right. Think more through. Oh, think more though. Although Tenkan Sen did cross. Yeah, looks like Tenkan Sen has been dead crossing right now, right? And also Chikou Span is also dead crossing, right? But uh, these are not really the confirmation why take the sell. Because the price has not been breaking the Kumo downwards yet. So in this particular situation, I will look at the smaller time frames like 1 hour chart or 30 minute chart and try to confirm the stable downtrend in smaller time frames. Yeah, breakout range, uncertain direction, unstable, up or down, so don't trade. Yeah, that's true. All right, unstable market consolidation, that's true. Ranging, it can break to either side, that's true. Avoid trade unstable, choppy, that's true. It's uh, choppy and weak souls. Right, whip source might be, uh, you know, might be confirmed in uh, anytime soon, next week. Yeah, especially in the U.S. right now, there is another like a murder, right? Uh, you know, by the, uh, you know, by 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 the police, you know, to uh, to the, you know, the victim in the U.S. So it might impact the market too, right? Because right now, I think the U.S., uh, New York, I think New York already woke up, right, in the morning, right now, in Sunday. And, uh, b but, you know, the news that happened, you know, another uh, police shoot the black uh, man, and, uh, you know, it, it actually killed the black man, right? Um, uh, we already know that because it was kind of a fear of time in Japan or Europe. But I think, uh, you know, whenever uh, the U.S. citizens, right, uh, woke up in the morning in Los Angeles time or New York time, right, uh, I think it, it's going to it's gonna impact the market more. So as a result, uh, you know, U.S. dollars might be sold more in the market. So fundamentally, I think, uh, you know, uh, well, uh, fundamentally or by the news, I think the USD might be sold towards next week due to that news, right? Continuation of this uh, riot going on in the US and also actually it's spreading throughout the companies, right? Throughout the countries. So uh, I think uh, it might impact the market on this USD uh, related pairs. Yeah, but we'll see on that, right? Uh, you know, after uh, next Monday. All right, choppy. Uh, Thirty minute time frame is downtrend. Yeah, that's true. If you look at the thirty minute, this is downtrend. But still, I can see that the uh, on this thirty minute chart, the single span B is flat. Oh, I mean, sorry, single span B is flat. Single span A is also flat. And also Kijun sensor is also flat too. So I can see that this is like a consolidation market uh, when I look at this uh, 30 minute chart too. Yeah. So uh, we better wait for this uh, ten, uh, Kijun Sen to move downwards or uh, single smart A to move downwards on, on this uh, 30 minute chart. Right to look for the sale chance next time. Right, sometime next next week. Thailand is in the Kumo. Oh, okay, Thunderpole. So it looks like uh, you have a raiding season right now. Yeah, I think so. Uh, in in Japan, Tokyo right now, uh, we are in the middle of the raiding season too. So in that sense, right. Tokyo is still uh, within the Kumo too. That's true. That's true. I will stay stay away until the clear 
uh, direction just watch price action on Monday yeah I think so too I think so too thanks man be flat Kumo going twist and that cross of Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen may go in a range after twist right that's true could you talk about uh, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo and the box when it's in the range or middle of the P wave something like that yeah, sure, I can talk about that too, definitely. So right now, right, what is significant here is that the, uh, you know, it, no, the price is not only, uh, you know, within the Kumo right now, on this uh, 4 hour chart, but also the price renewed the recent low downwards, right, is uh, very significant. Because this is now you know, uh, reverse end wave, right? Up until this weak point in uppers, hold on. On this one, right, up until the price, right, uh, the weak point in uppers, it was the uptrend, right? No matter what, this was the uptrend, and the price has been renewing the recent high uppers over time. So buy was the right call, right in this uh, smaller time frames. But now what we can see is that the uh, the price is renewing the recent low downwards now, right in this place right here, and also the price being in the into the kumo right now. So I think uh, this might be the beginning of the downtrend to all the way down towards this way so based on price action maybe you know there might be some uh, head and shoulders pattern might be observed right uh, there might be some kind of uh, head and shoulder pattern and the price might be going downwards afterwards or it might be going up uh, in it might be going downwards after this move right here of this uh, renew of the recent low downwards too And in that case, right, uh, because we see that the uh, Tenkan Sen Kijunsen did cross, and also uh, Chikosman did cross is happening already, so that the uh, we can expect that the uh, there might be some, uh, you know, uh, Senkosman B breakout of the candles downwards too. Yeah, and when it really happens. That means that the uh, the breakout was happening within the kumo that was uh, relatively thicker, right? So this is the time when the price is kind of digging into the thick part of the kumo and still, you know, wanting to go downwards this way. So I can clearly see that you know there are more sellers than buyers in the market right now. So there is a potential that the price might be breaking the recent low and also the price might be potentially breaking uh, the uh, the Senkosun B downwards too. So that is my confirmation. I mean that is my observation on this uh, Euro USD. So until I can confirm that there is a Kumo breakout or not, right? I don't think I will touch these pairs because, uh, yeah, the price might be going up first or it might go downwards, and we never know which way the price is gonna go because the price is basically within the range where we cannot really, uh, you know, uh, predict uh, which, way, which way the price is gonna go. All right. <clears throat> Take a chart with lower time frames. Yeah. So in this case right now, uh, we don't really have to look at the lower time frames because in a four-hour chart, in bigger time frame, this is you know there is no trend right now. All right. So basically, I will stay away 
I will stay away from this euro USD next week. All right until I see a decent trend next week, uptrend or downtrend. All right. Um, yeah, sorry, the you know the dog bias is kind of uh, you know jumping around over there. So let me you know just uh, let me just how do you say like let me uh, have a little bit of time until you know I will just you know uh, I think I will just put him on the certain certain space. So sorry. Uh, let let me just uh, hold on a minute. Let me. Uh, I think he's jump, jumping around. I think he's just hyper today, for some reasons. So hold on. I will get back to you shortly. Hold on. All right. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I just uh, put him on the uh, certain space, so I think he's uh, he's calm right now. Sorry about that. All right. So let me just keep talking about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vice is uh, you know uh, the Shiba dog. You know, as you I saw it earlier, right? Uh, he's the uh, white Shiba dog. And uh, yeah, he's yeah he's almost uh, up to like a four hours, oh, f four years old now. So yeah, yeah, I just <laughs> I just gave him a treat, and I think he's he's calm right now. All right, so sorry about that, but let me keep talking about this uh, euro seed right now. So euro you see for our chart, right? Uh, because the price is, is in the Kumo right now, I think that this uh, the uh, the price might be going up, right? Or it might go it might be going down, and we never know which way the price is gonna go. So basically, right? Simply speaking, I will just stay away from the chart. All right. So, all right. Let me come back to your chart and comment a little bit. Yep, equilibrium. Yep, that's true. Equilibrium. Yep. I am waiting until Tuesday, Wednesday. There will be important messages. Yeah. So we have to pay attention to some of the uh, fundamental news too next week. Yeah, which I will talk about uh, in a later part of the live today. I would avoid trading the dollar. A lot more subjective to big bank manipulation news, etc. Uh, better trade trade other pairs than remaining more than a stable. All right, GPPSD, GPPCHF, for instance. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
so if you're not really sure of uh, you know taking trades on this uh, uh, USA related pairs, you can just uh, you know look at other pairs take trades too. And I think that's the best part, right? To be a forex trader. All right. UKC10, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. And the US state's weekly chart is highway, okay? Okay. So, yeah, in that case, uh, you better avoid to write on the trend, right? Or to uh, make an analysis on the NDD USD. Or uh, in, in smaller time frames, you might see kind of a trend. So, you can uh, look at the smaller time frames to capture the trend and write on it too. Yeah. Yeah, the candlestick pattern is also important too. So right now, I don't see any decent candlestick pattern right now. But as far as far as I see this wave theory, right, this is a reverse in wave. So, and also the price renewed the recent low downwards too. So that means that the price might be renewing the recent low downwards even because this is in the middle of the end wave and the price might be breaking the single span B downwards too. So yeah and if it really happens right if the price really breaks this single span B downwards then I will look for the sell chance in smaller time frames too. Yeah. Is that inversely related to USD? Yes, of course, of course. Yeah. Hi Sabar, thank you for joining. And Mr. Finantis. Yeah. Until you get used to it, it might be difficult to forecast. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, what is your next goal when, when, when it breaks the single span B? So I am a, a trend follower. So as long as I see downtrend continuation, I just keep following it next week. All right. After price coming down below Kumo, if market starts to go up, what to do? So after price going down below Kumo, if the market is still up, then you should be hold, right? You should hold it, right? So you're saying that the, uh, what if the price breaks the single span B downwards, but afterwards, right? What if the price goes up this way, right? In this case, right, uh, the price might be renewing the recent low or right, upwards also. And there might be some, um, you know, uh, the higher lows and higher highs, right? So in that case, I will just hold until I see a decent uptrend based on the Kumo and Kijun Sen. <laughs> Relax, the dog is fine, all right? All right. Yeah, it's a part of life. Sure, sure. All right. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, distract everybody uh, due to the dog behavior. So that's why I was kind of paying attention to him. But yeah, thanks for your words. Yeah. And dogs are sensitive to uh, uh, tremors and uh, static. <laughs> yeah. There might be some uh, lightning storm. Yeah, that's true. Maybe going to rain, vice becomes edgy. That's what happens to my dog. Okay, okay, yeah. So that might some kind of message from him too. Yeah, we love vice too. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, thank you for it. <laughs> yeah, usually, right, dog can sense the uh, change of the market or se change of the uh, the environment or the weather, right, in in Tokyo. 
So yeah, that's true too. That's true. So he wants to be a YouTuber as well. <laughs> yeah, so maybe he can create his own YouTube account, right? And he can expose himself outside. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure about that, but uh, yeah, must be hungry. Well, actually, he 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 ate a lot. Actually, he ate a lot. But like two hours ago, he he ate a lot, so I think he should be fine by now. <laughs> Alright, so Euro you stay on side because there is no trend. What's next, Sensei? Yeah, so you are USD right now, is on sideways right now, and I can see that there is a renewal of the recent low breakout to the downside. So if so we can all we can all only talk about what if questions in this kind of situation when the price is in the Kumo right so if the price breaks up for us then it might you know be going retracing downward, down, downwards and then it might go up for us this way right that might be uh, one of the scenarios but if the price breaks the recent low downwards still and breaks the single spawn b downwards to this way right this might be the beginning of the downtrend so that's something that we have to be uh, you know, uh, we have to be careful next week. So basically on the sideways, you know, the better options will be to stay away from the market. And that's what I'm trying to say today. Okay, on this side, uh, Euro USD today. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Can price go up from its current point because of the tweezer bottom of the Kumo? Um, yeah, so the price might be bounced off of this Kumo, right? Where it's getting thicker, and the price might be keep going upwards too. But also the price might be keep going downward too, right? So we have to always create two or three scenarios, right? What if the price keeps going up this way? Then what would you do, right? And what if the price goes downwards this way? And what would you do? And what if the price keeps consolidating in the range? Then what would you do? So basically, we have to create these three scenarios whenever you look at the market and that's something that I'm trying to, you know, uh, deliver the message to you too. So, uh, you know, to to uh, make the long story short, right now I don't think there is any trend. So in the daily chart, right, this is flat right now, pretty much. The kumo has been flat still, right? The kumo was moving up and is moving up right now, but uh, the price might be going up downwards too because overall market is in the range so that's my view and also based on the 4 because the price is in the Kumo right now right the price might be go downwards and hold on sorry the price might be go downwards or it might be go upwards and we never know which way the price is gonna go next week so we just have to follow the trend, right, on next week, is my view here, on this uh, Euro USD. Alright. I see the Lobo Soldier, right? Yeah, yeah. It's difficult to see, but I see um, Laputa figures, yeah. The Laputa figures is in my back right here. So yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. All right, <clears throat> so let's see. Sorry, it's kind of so dry right now in Japan, so I have to <clears throat> drink a cup of waters.
to keep talking about the market. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Should I trade one more more pairs? Um, you can stick with one pair, right? If you're familiar with that, then you can just stick with one pair, and that should be no problem. Love your work. Thank you for teaching us all the Ichimoku and having lessons, live lessons too. <laughs> You're a great man. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, thank you for your words. Yeah, so my forecast is whether the market is on a trend or not, right? And that is actually, you know, my uh, forecast right now. So right now, as far as, I, as far as, as far, sorry, as far as I see, this is a Euro UC market based on daily chart and 4-hour chart. I don't see any uptrend right now. So uh, the thing that I want to say is that the, uh, you know, there's uh, no buy, to, buy or chance, sell chance right now. If I look at the 4-hour four, four daily chart right now. So uh, let's move on to the uh, Euro GPP and see what we can find on this pair. All right. So on this a uh, uh, Euro GPP right now on the daily chart, right? Also, the Kumo is flat right now, right? After the Kumo has been twisted, right here, and uh, dark gray is actually the up Kumo. But after the Kumo twisted to the up Kumo, right? Uh, the Kumo itself is not really going up. But now this is flat, right? This is flat. So uh, we can expect that the price of, or the Kumo might be twisted again to the bearish Kumo, right? And the price might be going downwards temporarily, or it might go upwards temporarily too. And we never know which way the price is gonna go in this case. So what I'd be looking for is that the uh, you know if I were to take trades on this Euro GBP, I would uh, draw the uh, resistance line on this one, on this price level of uh, 0 0.9059 area, and also the support line of this uh, recent low, which is at the uh, 0. 88650 area, right? The price might be ranging, uh, you know, within these price levels. And whenever I see the next breakout of the range up or downwards, then that would be the potential buy or sell chance. So, right now, again, uh, I don't see any trend on this market because the Kumo has been flat. And because, you know, although the current Kumo is the bullish Kumo, right? The Kumo itself is not really going upwards either. So I think that the, uh, you know, this is still in the range and I don't see any trend direction in the market. So I wouldn't look at the daily chart until I see the decent uptrend, the downtrend next time, sometime next week. So let's move on to the 4 hour chart. And looks like this is the same, right? It looks like the same. Right? In this 4 hour chart, the Kumo has been flat after the Kumo has been twisted upwards, right? The single span A is moving up slightly, but single span B has been flat right now. Right? So I don't see any uh, you know stable uptrend within the market. So most likely, I would look at the price breaking the recent high uppers on this uh, bigger picture, or br price breaking the recent low downwards too. And I would look for the retracement on either directions after the breakout. Will be my strategy on this Euro GBP. Yeah.
Which one do you like the best? Analyzing or trading? I like both actually. I like both. I like to analyze the chart and expect my scenario. And also I love taking trades too in the real time. Alright, so that is my view on this uh, Euro GPP. So to make a long story short, I wouldn't take any positions right now. Because once again, the daily chart is flat and also the price being into the Kumo right now. So it might go up or downwards, right? We never know which way the price is going to break out. And also if you look at the 4 hour chart, right, once again, the price is in the range also as we saw in the daily chart and the price might be breaking upwards or the price might be breaking downwards and we never know which way the price is gonna go in terms of the trend so yeah I would prefer to just stay away from the market and look at other currency pairs that are on the trend right now alright so let me check out uh, the next currency pair, right? So that is the uh, GPP USD. So uh, GPP USD right now is also interesting because the Kumo is has been sloping upwards, right? The single span B was flat, but single span A is still going up. So although we see some kind of retracement. To the downwards right here, right now, uh, you know we can expect that the price might be breaking the recent high uppers, and it renews the recent high uppers too. And that is my confirmation based on the daily chart, right? Because the price seems to be in range, but clearly the price broke the recent high uppers on this area, and this might be the temporary retracement, right? So the price might be bounced off of this Kijun Sen or single span A, and the price might be keep going up first too. But once again, like I said before, we have to also create a scenario where the price keeps going downwards too, right? In that case, uh, where would you cut the loss is the question that you have to focus on next week. Alright, so this is a daily chart on this uh, GPPUSD where there is no trend on the market. So most likely I wouldn't look at the, the daily chart on this uh, GPPUSD as of today. So um, let's take a look at the 4. Okay, so in, the, in this 4 hour chart, looks like the same, right? Uh, the price is now retracing backwards and looking like there might be a potential head and shoulders pattern. So if that's the case, the price can break the recent low and also the single span B downwards. And after you've seen this single span B break, the break out downwards, uh, that might be a great potential you know, timing to look for another sell chance in smaller time frames. So I can see that there is a, a dead cross of this, this uh, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen, and also there is a dead cross of this Chiko Span. So uh, looking like that the uh, you know the price is about to be breaking the recent low, which is kind of the same price level as this single span B downwards too, and that is my expe expectation. So if the price breaks the single span B downwards then I will look for the sell chance next week on this uh, GPPUSD 4 hour chart. Alright. Alright Jagadish, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Good to see you from UAE. Alright.
An interesting couple of uh, this week on uh, is uh, Entity CHF, all right? So if you find that Kumo is downtrending and also Kijun Sen is downtrending on a particular time frame uh, on uh, USC, uh, Entity CHF, that will be the pair that you want to take trace. All right, since can we trade uh take can we take a trade in a range using the Kijun Sen when it is flat? Yes, that's right. That's right. So, whenever the price is in the range, you can take that Kijun Sen or sometimes you can take the Senko Span B to capture the middle price of the range too. That's true. All right, so let me move on to the GPP, JPY. All right, so this is a uh, GPP, JPY daily chart, and now the price is retracing backwards. So first of all, I can see that there are, you know, lots of uh, sellers here, or buyers here, you know, uh, where they were having some stop losses here. So now the price is retracing downwards to this way and if you look at the Kumo right now the single spoon B is flat and the single spoon B is moving up but the Kijun Sen itself has been flat right now <clears throat> right so we have to wait until the Kijun Sen moves downwards to look for the sell chance right now next week so let me talk about the four Okay, so in this 4-hour chart, it looks like there was a Sanku Gekuten signal in Japanese where you can see that there is a uh, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen dead cross and Chikosun breakout of the candles and now the price is breaking the Kumo downwards too. So we can see that this is a great downtrend so the price, we can expect the price, you know, can be going downwards too, in this particular market situation. Alright, so that is my view on this uh, GPP JPY 4-hour chart. Hi guys, man. Thank you for joining. And Isaac, good to see you. All right. Sorry, I'm kind of reading through the chart and chat boxes here. And uh, yeah, can I trade? Can I sell when the dead cross happen above the Kumo? Yeah, potentially you can. Of course, of course. Because that might be the potential uh, sell chance in the market. Yeah, that's true. At the moment, the price has been stopped uh, at the anti wave level. Alright. If right now is live, are you going to uh, take trade on this? Uh, because the market is stopping right now, because the broker is uh, in absent today. So the market is not running and I wouldn't take trades today. So yeah, Yonzan, this is a GPP JPY pairs right now that we're looking at. GPP JPY daily chart, uh, we have a doji candle, all right? So yeah, there are a couple of doji candles right here. And it's been reversing uh, to the downwards right now. That's true. All right, good day. Please uh, let us know about the stop loss and resistance on this Euro USD. So, 
I guess that depends on uh, which time frame you're trading at, right? So if you're trading with this uh, five minute chart, uh, just like I do right now, right? So the stop loss should be below the recent low in this area. And you have to calculate, you, first of all, you have to measure the pips in between the close price and this, uh, you know, futures. And you can, uh, you know, create the correct loss sizing to make it 2% on, on your trades. And the, uh, you know, and then you can, uh, you know, apply your own strategies as time goes by. All right, so let me talk about other pairs too, right? So let me talk about the uh, USDJPY. So once again, this is only my pure technical analysis and I don't even include the fundamental news either. So on this uh, USDJPY right now, as we can see on the daily chart, it is still flat, right? It is flat because the Kumo has been moving flat right now. So it is a flat market on this daily chart. And let's take a look at 4 on this USGPY. So yeah, on this USGPY right now, right, the price is coming all the way down. And now it is retracing backwards too. Right, so let me see how far the price can retrace backwards by using Fibonacci retracement. All right, so if you take the Fibonacci retracement theory, right now the price has been kind of resisted by this 23.6%. Uh, 20, so the price might be going downwards too and breaking the recent low even downwards too. Right, which is actually my observation on this say uh, USGPY as of the uh, four hour chart right now. So in the daily chart there is no trend, but we can have some kind of a trend uh, edges right by looking at this uh, four hour chart right now. All right. So let me check out this uh, CADJPY right now. So CADJPY daily chart is actually flat right now, right? There is no trend in the market. As you can see that the uh, Kijun Sen has been flat and single span B and A. Well, actually B itself has been quite flat right now. So let's take a look at the four. All right, so in a four hour chart, we can see something different here, right? After these consecutive end waves, the price has been retracing downwards. And yeah, the price might be still going downwards too on this uh, CHJPY in four hour chart. So, uh, that's something that you have to uh, keep your eyes on next week too. Alright, so basically I think I will just stay away from this uh, GPP, uh, CHGPY pair until I see the decent trend on this downtrend. All right, so let me talk about this uh, CAD. Um, hold on. So we have already talked about this uh, CAD um, USD. So let me talk about the uh, AUD JPY right now. Okay, so AUD JPY looks to be very interesting because uh, this has been going uptrend or for the last one and two, three waves, it's been going up. So, uh, you know, when you see that there has been 
a consecutive uptrend, then we can also expect that the uh, you know there might be some kind of retracement, you know, all the way downwards to this way. So to capture that retracement is the key to success over time on this forex market, right? Because we know that th there might be some potential reverse of the downside. So this is when you really want to be careful. And if you don't know anything about the uh, the money management, you have to also be careful. And sometimes you might have to stay away from the chart and just come back to the chart until you know that the news is over. Okay? So that is my view on this uh, Ichimoku uh, Forex forecast. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, AUCUSD. Sorry, AUDUSD. Yeah, and it looks like th the result is kind of identical from this a uh, uh, AUDJPY. All right. So once again, on this um, CADJPY daily chart, it has been downtrending, but um, you know. The uh, the price is now going up, and it might be continuing to go upwards too, all the way the upwards this way, right? Because the price might be renewing the recent low, even upwards too. So that will be one of the confirmations you have to look for. And also, let me look at the four. All right, so this is again the uh, AUDJPY four chart. And now the price is going downwards, right? And also the price is breaking the Kumo downwards too. So this is where I start to see that you know there might be some uh, downtrend in a short term. And I would take a look at you know take a look at these markets and take these sales accordingly, right? And that's what I mean by following a trend, because following a trend is very important, so that the uh, your risk to reward ratio can be maximized, right? At most. All right. All right, so that is my view here on this say uh, AUD USD right now. Oh, sorry, AUDJP right now. Sorry. So, yeah. So let's talk about this say uh, AUD USD next time. So on this uh, AUD AUD USD right now, this is uptrend, and now I can see that the uh, this uptrend. As I see that this, uh, you know, the Kumo's been moving up, right? And also, the Senko Span A is moving up, and Kijun Sen's moving up too. So on this a uh, AUD USD, this is uptrend on the daily chart. Okay, this is the uptrend on the daily chart, All right? And also the price is kind of breaking. The Tenkan Sen downwards, but because the Kijun Sen is moving up or still, and also the Senko Span A is moving moving up or still, I can see see that this is still you know this uptrend. So the price can be breaking upwards and breaking the recent high, even upwards to this way too. And that is my view on this one. So AUD USA daily chart. I will still look for the buy chance next week as long as I see the uptrend on this daily chart is my view here. All right, and let's take a look at the four. So once again, if you look at the four chart, right, the price is in the range into the Kumo right now, so the price might be in the Kumo right now, and we never know which way the price is gonna go, right? It might break in upwards. 
or the price might be breaking downwards. I mean, we never know which way the price is breaking, basically. So until I see a next decent trend on this 4-hour chart, I will just stay away from the market, right? I will just stay away from the market. But the daily chart is moving upwards, so I will be expecting the price will be breaking the recent high, even upwards this way. And if that's the case, I will start to look for the buy chance, right, at the pushback after the breakout in this area. And that will be my view here. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, right now I am having a bad throat right now. I'm uh yeah, my my condition is not that no, is not that great right now. So <clears throat> I am uh, trying to trying to uh speak it slowly. But right now seems that the uh, my condition is not that great. So sorry if it, if it uh, confuses you today on my forecast. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. I still don't get these forecast lines that you draw sometimes. Okay, okay. okay. So you can uh, you can check out the, uh, the my previous lives, right? When when I posted on the uh, YouTube, on the archives on this uh, public live or membership live, you can uh, check out these uh, forecast lines uh, strategies. Right on the archive. All right. Oh yeah, in candle trend. Yeah, I will talk about the candle trend. Yeah, about uh, in this uh, in my, in my future lives. Maybe I will touch on this uh, candle trend, uh, candle trend uh, tradings right in my future lives by running the forex test of four two. All right, so yeah, once again, sorry about that because it uh, looks like my condition is not that great today. Sometimes I feel, you know, good in myself, but sometimes I don't feel good for some reasons. I'm not really sure why, but uh, today I think uh, I'm not really feeling good because uh, my tongue is not really, you know, smooth here. So. Yeah, so let me just go over, right? Let me just go over these pairs real quickly so that the, uh, you know, you can have the idea of uh, how I look at the chart. Okay. So, yeah, so I've covered this uh, AUD USD, right? So once again, AUD is a daily chart. This is uptrend because we can see that the Kumo has been moving up first, right? Now Senko Span B is flat, but Senko Span A is moving up and Kijun Sen is moving up too. Right after we saw the twist of the Kumo. So this is the uptrend on the daily chart. That's the primary condition. Okay. And but the price is not breaking the ki, uh, the Tenkan Sen downwards in this area. So this is something new, right? This is something new, right? Because the price was not really breaking the Tenkan Sen downwards, but now the price is breaking the Tenkan Sen downwards, which is quite significant on this uh, uptrend on the market. So the price might be retracing backwards to the Kijun Sen downwards too. But we, we wouldn't know which way the price is going to go, right? Most likely the price will be going upwards because we see that the Kijun Sen has been moving up and Senko Span A moving up too, right? And that is a permanent condition. So I would still look for the buy chance based on the daily chart. Okay. But based on the 4 hour chart, we see something different. All right. On this uh, AUDUSD uh, daily chart, or sorry, 4 hour chart, right? Uh, we see that the, uh, the price is now into the Kumo right now. So the price might be going up price now, 
or it might be going up or uh, go downwards sorry go downwards next week and we never know which way the price is gonna go and also the we know that the uh, the, the kumo has been twisted right to the to the bearish kumo and also the tenkan sen kijun sen has been dead crossing and also we see that the uh, there is a uh, chikosun breakout uh, to the downwards too so the price might be breaking downwards too in this case so basically uh, i would stay away from the market until the price breaks either up or downwards within the kumo and that is my view on this AUD USD chart all right and let's take a look at the gold all right so let's take a look at the gold right now and the gold has been quite tricky these days too so i don't any trade i i never take took any trades on the gold uh you know this month yet because in the daily chart first of all right the kumo has been completely flat right uh on the daily chart right because the single span b flat single span a is also flat right and also if you look at the kijun sen on the green one it has been flat too so um you know really there is no direction in the market right so that means that the price might be breaking downwards it might be going downwards and we never know which way the price is gonna go based on the daily chart on this gold right um, but um, I can see that there is a uh, thickness of the Kumo in this area so uh, the probability for the price to be br uh, bouncing off of this Kumo will be relatively higher right the price might be bounced off of the Kumo because th there is a thick part of the Kumo so it might be bounced off but until I see any kind of confirmation of this bounce off of the Kumo upwards I will just stay away from the market right and also uh, if the price were to breaking downwards to this way right I think it takes time it takes time to price uh, to for the price to break the Kumo downwards too so yeah um, to make the long story short I wouldn't look at the gold until the price breaks the recent high upwards or breaks the recent low downwards too okay and that is my observation based on the daily chart so let's take a look at the 4 right so if you look at if you look at the 4 chart uh, I draw the trend line a descending trend line like this and the uh, the price has been um, resisted in these areas but now we can see that the uh, you know the price was kind of reacted by this line after the breakout right because the price looks to be resisted or supported right in this area and the price is now consolidating right so um, uh, as far as I see this uh, forward chart right the price is now breaking this trend line upwards but the price might be right if this can be the support then the price can be breaking upwards too right the price can be breaking the recent high even upwards to this way too <clears throat> so that will be uh, one of the confirmations if that's the case right i will look for the next pushback and you know wait for the pushback at the breakout and take a buy somewhere in the higher level but if the price breaks the recent low downwards and coming back to the channel then uh you know of course it depends on the price action but you know the market might be you know coming all the way down and reaching to the low level downwards too so um, just because the price breaking 
this trend and upwards, right? It doesn't confirm that the price keeps going upwards towards the upside either because uh, you know right now right we see that the price has been consolidating and if you look at the Kumo right now it's been flat right the Senko Span B flat Senko Span A flat and also Kijun Sen flat too so uh, we don't see any trend in the market in that sense so the price might be go up or right the price might be going downwards and we never know which way the price is gonna go so that is my view on the gold right so all right then finally let me take a look at this uh you know b btc usd all right so i don't really look at the cryptocurrencies but uh, let me take out the trading view and let me just look at this a uh, uh, btc usd all right so there you go so here is a chart of this uh bitcoin right now and what's happening right now in terms of this uh, technical analysis right now so oh yeah looks like uh so let's take a look at daily chart first right on the daily chart, wow, it's by it's been kind of spiking up and downwards, and it's kind of difficult to capture the trading edges, right? And if you look at the Kumo right now, on the daily chart on this Bitcoin, right? Uh, first of all, I can notice that the uh, the single span A is flat, single span B is kind of going up. But also we can see that this uh, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen has been flat right on this daily chart on this Bitcoin so once again if uh, if you see this uh, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen has been flat that means that the price might be going up first or the price might go downwards and we never know which way the price gonna go yeah because uh, you know not only this Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen but also this, uh, you know, single span B and A are also flat too. So uh, pretty much there is no direction in the market. So if I look at the market right now, and if I take the ki uh, the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, uh, this is not really the right timing to take trades because uh, I wouldn't never know which way the price is gonna go up or downwards. So let's take, let's take a look at the four. All right, and if I look at the four chart, once again this is flat too, right? The Kumo has been flat, right? Kijun Sen, I mean Kijun Sen has been flat right now, and also single span B flat, single span A is flat too. So basically, right, all these lines are flat right now. So until I see the next decent breakout of this recent high upwards on this level or until I see the breakout of the recent low downwards to this area I would just hold yeah because we never know which way the price is gonna go initially sorry initially the price might go upwards too right but it might be resisted in this area and it might go downwards too and let's say if the price keeps going downwards right all the way but now it might be you know retracing at some point and the price might go upwards too right so as long as i can see i can create these uh, two or three scenarios here i would stay away from the market because there is no trend in this market, particular market based on the Ichimoku on this Bitcoin right now. All right. So that is my view. So basically, I only take trades where there is a trend in any time frames, right? In any time frames upper than one hour chart or 30. Sometimes I take a look at the 30 minute chart and I write on the trend. M most likely, I write on a trend based on the one hour chart or above, one or four hour chart or daily chart or weekly chart. 
I usually take trades based on that trend, on these upper time frames. But the uh, you know when it comes to taking trades, I take trades based on the small time frames so that my risk to reward ratio can be minimized. My risk can be minimized and my reward can be extended as much as possible. All right, so so with that being said, let me cover some of the fundamental news, right? Uh, that might be right happening sometime next week. Okay, so uh, next week on Monday on the uh, June fifteenth, right? Uh, pretty much we don't have any impacted market, so most likely on Monday next Monday. The market can can move depending on the you know uh, the supply and demand based on the technical analysis. And usually, right? If you might know, usually in the forex market, uh, there is no volatility in the market in the in uh, you know on Monday, every Monday. So I think uh, yeah, we can just relax on Monday, right? However, uh, on Tuesday, on next. Uh, Tuesday on the 16th, uh, there are a couple of uh, you know fundamental news here, right? For example, there is a uh, meeting uh, minutes in AUD, and also there is a a monetary policy statement, and also the interest rate decisions in Japan. So first of all, AUD and JPY might be affected by that in the beginning of Tuesday. In Asian time, so let me just put this say uh, AUD and JPY because they might be affected by the market, right? And also, uh, there is another important news that is the uh, GBP unemployment rate, right? Which is also imp in, uh, very important in when you take trades on this. Uh, GBP pairs. So, GBP might be affected by that on Tuesday. So, sorry, hold on. Um, on Tuesday, AUD and JPY and also GBP might be affected by that. Alright, and also uh, there is another uh, BOJ press conference on JPY pair and also there is a uh, CPI right in Germany right which might impact the euro currency too so I will put this uh, euro here on next uh, Tuesday and also uh, there is a uh, retail sales control group and USD so Next Tuesday, we got lots of news here, USD. All right, and also there is a, uh, a power switch, right? Next uh, Tuesday, on USD currency pair. So let's move on to next Wednesday, right? So on next Wednesday, uh, there will be a CPI. Um, uh, why, 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 why basis? Right next, uh, you know, uh, next Wednesday, so a uh, GPP might be affected by that. So let me just put this one GPP on Wednesday, okay? And also, there will be another one, another CPI on CID, right? Canadian dollars. So if you're taking Canadian dollars, you have to be watch out. For the volatility on next Wednesday. Okay, so coming to Thursday on the June eighteenth, right in the morning time in Asian time, there is a um, employment change, right in AUD, and also unemployment rate in AUD too. So AUD might be affected by that on next Thursday. And also there is a CHF uh, interest rate decision too. 
So, yeah, I personally don't really take trades on CH pairs, but if you're taking trades on this CH pairs, you have to watch out on this on this uh, next Thursday, on that one. And also there is a uh, another uh, uh, yeah S B press conference on CHF. And also there is a uh, monetary policy right on GBP. So that will be impacting on GBP pair. And also um, yeah there is a uh, uh, initial jobless claims in in the US. So USD might be affected by that too. So yeah, pretty much there are lots of news next week. Okay, and technically on next Friday morning in Asian time, there is a monetary policy meeting in Japan. So I will put that as a Friday morning, right? JP, um, JPY might be affected by that, right? And also, uh, yeah, retail sales in CAD can be impacted and also another uh, power of speech will be there right uh, in the US so USD might be affected by that too okay so basically next week uh, throughout ne no, next uh, week right we don't have any market we don't have any news on the 15th of Monday but uh, we have a couple of news right on 16th, 17th, and 18th, and 19th, right, on these pairs, AUD, JPY, GPP, Euro, and also CAD, right, and also we've got another uh, news on this uh, CHF pair too. So we have to be careful uh, to prepare psychologically, right, uh, to uh, whenever we're take, taking trades on these pairs on these days. All right, so, yeah, that will be the uh, the rough overview of uh, what you, you what you can expect next week. Okay, so yeah, thank you for everyone for joining today's live. So sorry, my throat condition or my my tongue condition was not really that great. I think I'm tired. Unconsciously, maybe I'm tired. I'm not really sure. But the uh, yeah, I hope I will be uh, you know just go to bed anytime soon today, and I will charge charge up my myself and uh, prepare for tomorrow's life. All right, so I think uh, in Japan it's already turned to Monday technically because this is a uh, yeah zero uh, thirty a.m. in Japan, but I think for the most of you, I think it's still on Sunday. So I hope you have a great rest of the Sunday, and the uh, yeah, I ho I hope uh, you have a great great uh, weekend and a great trading days next week too. All right, so everybody stay healthy and stay gold. All right, so bye for now. Mata ne, thank you.